In early March along the Little Beaver Creek in Pike County, Dr. Michael Ketterer, an environmental chemist from Arizona who studies radioactive contamination, is busy collecting samples of water, soil, and vegetation. It's kind of growing right on top of the soil. He's been here before. In September of 2018, this was indeed the very first place that I came in uh, Pike County near the Portsmouth site to start taking my own samples and learning what was going on. Since then, Dr. Ketterer has played a pivotal role, revealing radiation in communities surrounding the now closed Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Plant, or PORTS, a massive Cold War facility near Piketon that enriched uranium for America's nuclear bombs. In the field and in his lab at Northern Arizona University, Dr. Ketterer has confirmed radioactive particles from ports inside a now-closed middle school, in attics of homes 10 or more miles from ports, and even in the government's own air monitors. On this day, Dr. Ketterer is focused on what's growing here. The worry here is all of that is going into all the vegetation that you see here, and we want to measure that. For decades, the government's own reports have shown plants absorb radioactive elements. Dr. Ketterer is here to study the connection between these plants and this one. Ports, which closed in 2001, drains into Little Beaver Creek, upstream from where Dr. Ketterer is testing. Past studies reveal the creek is often polluted with radioactive elements. He's here to answer a question. How do these isotopes get uptaken into plant material? At his lab, Dr. Ketterer examined the plants he gathered, searching for a specific radioactive element, neptunium-237, a byproduct of nuclear reactors and plutonium production that's tied to ports. It's an alpha emitter that's dangerous if ingested. Neptunium seems to be more effective at going into plants. Three months after his visit to the creek, Dr. Ketterer sent me this report, confirming lots of Neptunium along Little Beaver Creek, writing, Concentrations of Neptunium from the Portsmouth Gaseous Diffusion Plant in soils and sediments are approximately 100 times higher than nuclear weapons test fallout, a reference to the known levels of Neptunium deposited across the country from above-ground nuclear weapons blasts of the 40s, 50s, and 60s. And More importantly, Dr. Ketterer found significant Neptunium uptake into grasses he collected at the creek. So much Neptunium, Dr. Ketterer warned, persons consuming foods grown within 10 to 15 miles of ports are cautioned that they may be ingesting Neptunium-237. In a Zoom interview, Dr. Ketterer reiterated that concern. We, we see pretty significant Neptunium-237 uptake, and I think it's just fair to say that anywhere in the lower Scioto Valley, uh, agricultural plants have the propensity to be doing the same thing. The U.S. Department of Energy, or DOE, which oversees ports, disputes Dr. Ketterer's conclusion and concern, writing, Since 2010, DOE has annually collected samples of vegetation and local crops from locations around the Portsmouth plant, adding, DOE has not detected Neptunium-237 in vegetation or crop samples from any of the annual sampling currently available. I checked DOE's own data online and confirmed no Neptunium has been picked up in plant samples around ports, but other radioactive elements have been identified in plant samples 120 times since 2010, including uranium-233, 234, and 238, and technetium-99, a byproduct of nuclear reactors. Some of the samples revealed radioactive elements at levels many times higher than DOE's own detection limit. DOE insists the communities around ports are safe, but Dr. Ketterer's work calls that into question. Now, after years of stunning discoveries of radioactive contamination, he's raising new concerns about the plants that grow and are consumed in the shadow of this Cold War plant. If you know that the produce, the vegetables, are being grown around ports, would you eat it? 
I would steer away from the stuff grown in the proximity of the DOE Portsmouth Reservation. Dwayne Pullman, Local 12 News. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.